And New Zealand with the pressure on here to defend second place in the points from Great Britain. New Zealand coming from a long way down the grid. Can Matt Halliday do something here? We're all set for the final feature race of the second season of A1GP. Welcome to Motorsport, we get underway, and it's a good start from Germany. Germany going side by side with Team GBR into Panagil Ben. Oh, this is going to be a close battle. Germany going around the outside, Robbie Kerr on the inside. They're still side by side. Germany trying to shut the door. Can he do it? Now he's got to go around the outside of the hairpin, and if he does that, he might have the inside line for Graham Hill Ben. They're still side by side. Germany now just takes the lead. Robbie Kerr will try and cut back on the exit, but Germany shuts the door and Germany leads. Well, I think there's power push being used already by both big set up lock over a blow up from Italy in third place. But Robbie Kerr had the chance to take that position back because Nico Hulkenberg went wide in Paddock Bend. I think he was giving room to Team GBR, but again, as they plunged down into Hawthorne, a cloud of dust has kicked up on the exit of Surtees at the top of the picture. What a great battle between the two front row men for three corners there. Germany have got it all. Oh, and Australia is off. That Ain Dyke has had a, I think that may well be at Paddock. We can't quite see. Or is it? There's certainly a major. Trying to work out where there's the end. Dyke's car team has hit the barrier, the tower wall very heavily indeed. So we've got the safety car deployed immediately. Yellow flags all around the racetrack, and that is a heavy accident for Team Australia. So it looks like Ian Dyke is fine, but a lot of damage to the Australia. Out of the car. No, that's Zaug out that's of the car. Well, two cars involved. Adrian Zaug has 25 seconds. There's Adrian Zaug's car. So somewhere along the line, Australia, which was in fact Australia and South Africa, well, Australia was ahead of South Africa, and that's Paddock Hill in there. The work is being carried out on the Australia car, and the medics are attending to Ian Dyke. It's right at the top of the corner. I was looking down. I can't see the top of the corner from my vantage point. I can only see the bottom stretch. So they went off very uh, much at the top of the hill. That's good to see Ian Dyke out of the car. I think he's OK. Alan Jones looking somewhat concerned in the yes, middle. I think that was a fairly big knock. You can see how much damage was done. There's a wheel, I think, of that Australia car in the towel. It looks as if those two cars had contact. Ian Dyke, well, he will be bruised. And I think he's quite shocked. You can see his face. but. Physically, if he'll go to the medical centre, be given the full check out. Let's see if we can see again. It would have come in the middle to the back of the grid as the South Africa car goes one way and uh, time to. Oh, he clipped somebody else. He clipped the check car. Australia clipped. Oh, they're clip really the almost. Car. The speed Ian Dyke left the racetrack. He lost virtually no speed whatsoever as on board from Robbie Kerr. And you can see Robbie Kerr really his head going backwards and forwards. He didn't get that best start. But look how much room Nico Hulkenberg leaves on the outside of the corner. He did that because he was aware that Robbie Kerr was going to put a wheel, almost wheel to wheel, interlocking wheels going into, into Druids. That was a fantastic start. And, you know, that was so fair between the two hard races. They gave each other space all the way round. And, uh, of course, Hulkenberg's never raced here at Brands. Oh, oh that, that was quick. I mean, that was over 100 miles an hour when that car left the racetrack and virtually no speed loss. Well, there's the view again. So the Czech Republic, and in fact, the Czech Republic took out, so took out South Africa. So it was contact with Australia and Czech Republic, and then the Czech Republic consequently bumped into, into South Africa. New Zealand got away with that. Now, <laughs> remember, New Zealand are desperate for points to try and hold on to second place in the championship. Two things have happened to them that they will be pleased about. Their big rival, Great Britain, has been pushed back to second, and they got through the drama of the first lap, and they're in... 13th they're not in the points yet they're not safe yet but that's certainly a little boost uh, into morale in the New Zealand camp at the moment they're biting their fingernails I think here today because they thought they had second place wrapped up there is the German team though and they saw a fantastic getaway from Hulkenberg well for three corners they were virtually wheel to wheel interlocking wheels side by side and Robbie Kerr seemed to have the advantage in overall grip terms if you go back and there we see the heavily damaged to the left front in particular of the Australia car, Ian Dyke went off the racetrack at the very, very top of Pedicle Bend at undiminished speed and hit that tower wall in front of this solid Kong or solid Armco barrier and really uh, virtually no loss of speed for the Australian driver at the point of impact. That was a heavy hit, but Ian Dyke's out of the car, been taken away and been checked out at the medical centre. It looks like Adrian Zarg was really part of the problem, but that was because of the contact with the Czech Republic and then it was, uh, it was the other way around, the Czech Republic. Well, certainly a worrying times for everybody, but everyone concerned, I'm sure, about Ian Dyke, but he, he certainly seemed fine, looked a little bit shaken, but I'm sure he's OK. So, Great Britain have really got a battle on their hands now. This is going to make more of a race of it, that's for sure, because I think if Kerr had got in front there, he might have run away with this, looking at his pace this morning. We're looking back in the latter part of the grid here. Look at the clash there. Yes, it came Australia, and uh, that, it just happened to clip South Africa in the process. So, between Australia and the Czech Republic, 
And if we can maybe get another view, another camera angle, this camera makes sure it's not great because the camera has just panned around to follow the field. But look at the speed. I mean, I mean, well, I would say maybe near 120 miles an hour. And look, wheels, there's part of the suspension of the car rolling down the inside from on board. This is the view. There you see the contact. Well, Australia Ain Dyke had very, very little room to manoeuvre. He was trying to squeeze past the Czech Republic. I think that was just a little bit too ambitious for Ain Dyke, particularly with so many cars. There was cars to the left of the Czech Republic. That was South Africa. So a frightening looking accident, but Ian is safely out of the car. Let's see what Alan Jones has to think about it. He's with Simon Hill. Alan, I could see that yourself and the rest of the team obviously very concerned about Ian. Has he come back to you on the radio? Yeah, yeah, he's OK. Um, he's fine. And that's the main thing. I mean, we can fix the car and um, it's the last race of the season. So we've got plenty of time to do it. But no, he's OK. That's the main thing. Yeah, obviously, it just looked like a typical first corner shunt, typical paddock accident. You've raced the brands yourself. You probably know what it's like. Yeah, well, I mean, the dreaded paddock bend. First lap, first corner. Um, you know, four cars into one don't go, and uh, that's what they tried to do, and that was the consequence. But, you know, that, that's motor racing, and unfortunately today it was our turn to be involved. Thank you, Alan. OK, thank you. Yeah, well, he's seen it all before, hasn't he, John? So he's not... Yes, he has, and I'm not very thrilled, uh, having seen the replays clearly on you. The Paddock Hill Bend is one of those few corners on a racetrack, which is a high-speed corner. We don't get to see very many high-speed corners at the end of a pit straight, and that's what makes this Brands Hatch circuit unique. Now, a lot of time is going to be taken to get that assembled because there's binding in front of the tyre wall. That, the tyres that go behind it are going to be put back, so we could be looking at up to five laps behind the safety car. Yeah.